Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today we look into the topic of angel. Matthew chapter 1 verses 20 and 21 says, An angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will save his people from their sins. A typically benevolent celestial being that acts as an intermediary between heaven and earth. What really was Gabriel to Mary? What kind of being came with foreknowledge of a supernatural conception and with words that would change her destiny forever? Greetings to you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. How would the shepherds have described the angel, the glory of the Lord shining about? And then a great company of heavenly hosts whose voice poured out the chorus like a tidal wave, glory to God in the highest. What would Joseph say about this encounter with an angel? Or what would Zachariah, John the Baptist's father, say? Joseph was understandably troubled by Mary's mysterious pregnancy, her future, and what he should do towards her. Though he had decided to put her away secretly, he was not comfortable with that decision. Calling Joseph as a son of David should have alerted Joseph that something was particularly significant about this message. Son of David is reference to Joseph's legal lineage to the throne. In the days leading to the birth of Jesus, supernatural appearance, utterance were occurring like they never had before. Heaven communicated to earth. The real meaning of angel is simply messenger. And that reminds us that Christmas is about the message. It is the gospel, the good news, the best news. Powerful spiritual messengers were very present, stuck fear and awe in people and paving the way. This mission and this message transformed the human beings. They never left people the way they have been before. Now, any of us this year can probably think of a dozen ways that we would like to hear a word from a messenger of God sent to us. And we do have the message. It is a message best suited to each one of us because it was sent to all of us. Jesus will save the people from their sins. This description of work of Jesus reminds us that Jesus meets us in our sin. But also his purpose is to save us from our sin. He saves us first from the penalty of sin, then from the power of sin, and finally from the presence of sin. Let us pray. Dear Lord, help us to listen to you like how the announcement of the angels were made with a fresh ear to your word every time so that we can experience your presence and we can experience the presence of you and you alone in our life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.